Hi, this is the second video for New Worlds November. Uh, the latest short story I finished is in Amundsen's Amundsen's Tent. I don't know why I can't pronounce that. Amundsen's Tent by John Martin Lee. And um, for the most part is a historical fiction concerning a um, real event, the um, Antarctic exploration of Scott and Amundsen. Scott of Great Britain and Amundsen of Norway. And um, it depicts those um, cold, harsh conditions, but at the end it has a somewhat tenuous science fiction link and um, <laughs> uh, a sort of um, sort of shift into sort of um, sci-fi horror but um, I'll leave a link to a video down below that um, explains the um, historic um, sort of race to um, the sort of the very southern pole of the South Pole, the sort of the um, the centre of Antarctica. Uh, the video explains it much better than me, but um, it depicts um, Scott and his um, ill-fated cohorts um, coming across a horrifying um, alien or monster of some description although it doesn't really <clears throat> describe it it leaves it to the um, the uh, reader's imagination but it's sort of like um, H.P. Lovecraft in that it, uh, to see it um, drives people insane the sheer horror of it um, but it doesn't really describe it it leaves that to the um the reader i really like that um um and um sort of a grim uh sort of ending in the diary form um, uh, I'll read the last entry. January 13th, maybe it is the 14th, I don't know. What does it matter? Saw it three times today. Each time it was closer. Dog still whining about tent. There, that horrible, hellish sound again. Dog still now that sound again, but I dare not look out. The axe. Hours later, can't write any more. Silence. Voices. I seem to hear voices, but that sound again. Coming near at entrance now. Now. So, <laughs> and um, for some reason, I sort of humorously thought that they'd uh, come across Frankenstein's monster because <laughs> um, I mean I can't quite remember the book too well, but the um the Kenneth Branagh adaptation um the Frankenstein monster is sort of sledding around the Arctic or the Antarctic um and I thought that was sort of what they came across it was Frankenstein's monster um. Which would have been quite interesting, but it's um some sort of horrifying alien. Um, there's a movie called uh, Life Force, I think it's called, and it has these um uh they're sort of space vampires, but they suck the life force out of people, and they leave this sort of um horrifying walking corpse. 
if you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's quite a horrific sight, and I thought that was sort of what the um, Arctic explorers had come across, some horrifying skeletal-type thing. Um, but it doesn't uh, describe it. It's just the, um, the sheer horror of seeing it. Uh, causes those who see it to go mad, sort of um, HP Lovecraft style. So I really liked it. Um, as I say, to begin, it is historical fiction. Um, I kind of wonder if he was like the writer, John Martin Late. John Martin Lee, I wonder if he's ever sued by Scott or the relatives of Scott. I don't think so, but, um, <laughs> you know, I do sort of wonder. Um, I think Scott and um, the other people, I imagine, they, um, I think it was um, starvation or... Um, just froze to death, I think. I'm not too sure. But, um, a good short story, uh, well written. And, um, next I think I will be reading uh, The Monster from Nowhere. Uh, although I might, um, read, I might, uh, finish um, The Queen of Air and Darkness by Paul Anderson. Uh, we'll see. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.